Madame Bach to my YouTube channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell. Thank you. Okay, hello there, Matlates. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Okay, this is a previous video natin, pinag-usapan natin yung complement, union of set, intersection of set. Okay, so this time, we will be talking about set notation. Or we will be discussing about set notation. Okay, so you have to be familiar with the Venn diagram para yung next lesson natin na nagsosolve na ng na nagsosolve na ng uh, problems on sets, hindi kayo mahirapan. Okay, so bago tayo mag-start, let us first identify the objectives of our lesson. So, in this video, you'll be able to describe a Venn diagram. You'll be able to illustrate set notation by shading and be able to determine the set notation given a shaded Venn diagram. Okay. So, ano muna yung Venn diagram? So, Venn diagram was introduced by John Venn, who is, uh, uh, which is an illustration that uses circles to show the relationships among things or finite groups of things. So, magamit tayo ng circles when we are dealing with Venn diagram. So, ito yung mga nakikita nyo parang may mga nag-overlap, inagamit natin to compare and to contrast to find the similarities and differences between the two events, etc. Okay. Yung set notation natin, okay. So, napag-aralan natin last time yung A, ay, yung, yung set natin, and then yung kanyang complement. Okay. So, this time, ilalagay natin siya into shading ng ating Venn diagram. As you notice dito sa atin, A, eto siya lagi. Dito sa given na universal set, meron tayong L set, subset na A, B, and C. Okay. Yung A natin dito, of course, since we are only looking for A, is a shade lang natin yung buong A. So, eto lang yun. Eto lang yung isa shade natin. Dito naman, ang isa shade lang natin yung A. Dito naman ulit, ang isa shade lang natin A. So, dito naman sa A complement, isa shade natin lahat ng wala kay A kasi nga complement. Okay. So this time, kung kanina ang nakashade ay A, dito naman ang opposite. Si A lang yung hindi nakashade. So lahat nakashade na. Yung so, BC tsaka yung universal set. Yung universal set nakashade. Yung universal set tsaka yung B nakashade. Kasi yun yung mga element na wala kay A. Okay. Dito naman kay B, ganun din. Nakashade si B. Nakashade din dito si B. Nakashade din dito si B. Yung B complement naman natin, nakashade si A, C, and then yung universal set, si B lang yung hindi. Dito, si B lang yung hindi nakashade, nakashade yung buong universal set. Dito naman, si B lang ulit yung hindi nakashade, nakashade yung A at yung universal set. Kasi yun yung mga element na wala kay B. Okay. Ito yung tinatawag nating A intersection of B. Pag sinabi nating A intersection of B, yung magkamukha lang kay A and B. So, definitely, ito lang dalawang nasa gitna. Kasi yun lang yung nag-overlap. Ibig sabihin yun lang yung magkamukha. Dito naman sa A union of B, kung mapapansin ninyo, A union of B, pagsasamahin lang natin, so shade lang natin yung buong A at yung buong B, pati yung magkamukha nila. Dito naman, yung A um, intersection of B complement, ibig sabihin lang nun, yung hindi lang natin isa shade yung A intersection of B. Kung dito, eto yung nakashade, yung A intersection of B, dito naman, siya na lang yung hindi nakashade. Nakashade na yung A at B, nakashade na din yung universal set. Dito naman, A union of B complement, kung dito ang nakashade ay yung buong A at yung buong B, dito naman sila yung hindi nakashade. Kasi we are dealing with complement, yung wala sa kanila. So yung wala sa kanila ay yung universal set. Ito naman, ang wala sa yung A intersection of B, ang wala naman sa kanila yung element ni A alone, yung element ni B alone, at yung sa universal set. Okay. So para sa maintindihan ninyo, so eto yun. So we have 
Ito naman yung a minus b. Pagka naman a minus b, isusubtract lang natin, ah, kukunin lang natin yung element na nakay a. Yung b minus a naman, yung element lang na nakay b. Sabihin, uh, wala dapat yung kanilang intersection. Okay. So we have a, b, c. Yung a intersection of b, eto yon. Kasi eto lang yung magkamukha kay a at b. So eto lang yon. Yung A intersection of C, eto lang din yon Yung A intersection of B intersection of C, ibig sabihin yung magkakamukha lang kay A, B, and C. So, eto lang din sa pinakagitna. Yung B intersection of C, B intersection of C, eto lang yon Okay. How about this one? A intersection of B intersection of C complement. Okay. So, ang A intersection of B natin, eto. Kaya lang, kukunin din natin yung intersection niya kay C complement. Okay. C complement. Ang C complement natin ay eto, eto, at eto. So, yung A intersection of B intersection of C complement, eto lang yun. Yung A intersection of C intersection of B complement, eto lang yun. Pag sinabi natin B intersection of C intersection of A complement, eto lang yun. Yung A intersection of B intersection of C, na-discuss na natin kanina, itong nasa pinakagitna. Okay. Yung B union of C, eto lang yung may dalawang kulay. Yung B, i-unite lang natin siya kay C. Yung A union of C, kukulayin lang natin yung A at yung C. Yung A union of B, kukulayan lang natin yung A and then yung B. Yung A union of C, so eto yon How about A union of C, intersection of B complement? Okay? Yung A union of C natin, eto. Para sa maitindihan ninyo, lagyan natin ng pen. So, let's say for example, eto yon Pangit ng sulat. <laughs> Ayan. Nating A yon B yon eto yung C. So, yung A intersect union of C, eto lang yon yung nakashade na to, tapos ito lang din. Okay, sana na-imagine nyo na lang, no? Ay, dito, ito pala yung C natin, sorry. O, dito na lang tayo ulit. Um, A intersection of C, ayan. Kung mapasin nyo, ma-imaginary yan, kapag kinumpleto natin, ay, sana mag-ayos. Ayan. So, ayan yun. So, kapag kinumpleto natin, eto yung A inter union of C. Okay? Kaya lang, kukunin pa natin yung magkamukha niya dun sa complement ni B. Di ba ang complement ni B natin ay ito, 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 tapos ito. Okay? Kaya natin inalisto kasi ito ay element ni B. Ito din ay may element ni B. Ito ay may element ni B. Kinukuha natin yung magkamukha nila kay B complement. So, eto lang yung, eto lang yung matitira. Okay? Kasi this is what we call B complement. Itong buo na to. So, yung ito lang matitira. How about this one? A union of B, shade lang natin yung buo. A union of B, intersection of C complement. So, yung element lang ni A ang, ang matitira. Yung element ni B at yung, comp, yung, yung intersection ng A at B. Yung lang yung isha-shade natin. How about this one? B union of C ay shade lang ni B union of C. Okay? In this case, B union of C intersection of A complement ay ang isha-shade lang natin ay yung element ni B, yung element lang ni C, and then yung complement lang, ay yung, yung intersection lang nung B at C. Ay magkamukha lang nilang element. Okay, so I hope you learned something on our video. Kapag may tanong kayo, please feel free to ask, comment in on our comment section. Good day and God bless.